Residents of Sudan's war zones bear the brunt of the country's economic crisis as an acute cash crunch worsens. 49 health facilities are at risk of shutting down, which could leave thousands of people stranded. 11 clinics have already been shut down in Darfur, Blue Nile and South Kordofan, where years of fighting forced tens of thousands of people to flee their homes. We don't have enough funds to continue supporting clinics in remote areas that provide people with health services. About 11 clinics have already been closed and we have another 49 still working with the help of health ministry. We are talking about a million people who can be affected by the closing of these clinics. The closures could impact immunization services while some 323,000 women of childbearing age and children under five will lack access to health care. Funding for Sudan's health care sector has fallen in the past two or three years. An estimated 7 million U.S. dollars is needed to operate the remaining clinics in the next year. Sudan is like forgotten emergency. We struggle. Yeah, we struggled really so much uh, at different levels. Our headquarters, our regional office, our country office, really to talk and advocate on behalf of Sudan so that we get more attention, we get more funding to what is happening here. The cash crunch faced by the World Health Organization and other NGOs is so severe that many clinics have no money to even buy medicine or to pay staff wages. Save the Children Sweden is phasing out health and nutrition services in 20 centers in South Kordofan, affecting about 200,000 people who it has supported. NN7 Bureau Report.